everybody, it's Orange, and today we're gonna do a tutorial video. Um, usually I do not do this type of stuff, but um, I'm gonna do it anyway since I'm bored and I do not have any video ideas. So, um, the type of tutorial I'm gonna do now, well, in this video obviously, is um, how to add and create, you know, um, FNF characters for your mod. Um, the reason why I'm making FNF videos when it's kind of dead now, I'm I'm gonna try and make it popular again. It's probably not gonna happen anyways, but I'm still gonna um, like do this. So like, um, this is my way. This is gonna be my way. So um, if you have your own way of doing it, then do that. Come off this video and make your mod your way, but. If you're you, if you are new, so like if you're new, then I suggest you should watch this video and like um, follow me. All right, all right, just found it. So go on the GitHub version of the game. Just go on releases and try and find the an older version of the game. Uh, this might take a while. Just go on the on the um second page. And just download the um, the 0.4.2 version. All right, now just go to download. Any of these will be fine. Do not download the source code. Download one of these two. All right, so I'm just gonna get. I'm just. I'm just gonna get the 64-bit version. All right, uh, it's downloading. Um, it'll be. 20, 28 seconds. Um, depending on what computer you have, it might take shorter or longer. So, um, like, so, like, um, like, download, um, the older version, because that's, um, that is what's working with me right now. Um, I tried to do the exact same thing with the newer version, but it just made my game crash. I figured out um, using the old version, it's just better. So go into your files, go into downloads, and extract all. This might also take a little while. Also, I'm not really the best at explaining things, so um, there's some bits that I might get confused with. So if um, uh, you get confused with me, so I suggest you should watch the video in the in the um, comments because that's where I got um, um, this from. All right, so it's one hundred percent complete. Delete the zip version if you want; it's just better for me. All right, so this is where you're gonna put your mod stuff. Alright, so go into mods. Um, now go into images and characters. This is where you're gonna put, you know, your characters and XML files. So, for example, I'm gonna use the blue ninja. Uh, hold on. Now, copy and paste both of um, both the PNG and the XML. Uh, you need to make sure that they're both the exact same name because if they are not the exact same name, it will just break the game. Alright, so go to Psych Engine. Alright, so it's just loading. Alright, now just skip. Hold on. I need to turn it down. Alright, so now press 7 on your keyboard. Go into character editor. Now this is where you're gonna add your character. Look, so you go into characters and this is like all the characters. So like for example, the dad. Yeah, every single wait, what was that? Never mind. But anyway, so all the characters are here, including the spirit. Um you can press S and W to change the sprite and you can go to the monster 
remember this is the this is the older version so some things might not be available but um it's still good um is it still good so what we're gonna do is go onto the dad sprite now change the name into your character's name so mine was the blue ninja so i'm gonna type in the blue ninja now press reload image and boom here is your character looking all sexy okay now you need to change the um th the reason why you, the animations aren't in properly because uh obviously you didn't add the xml you know files into here so uh before we get into the coding bit let's delete all the um extras and the looping animations because we don't need that we don't need that all right so now you have idle and right so let's start with idle okay so remove go into the animation on dot xml dot text files remove the text and um go into your files go into VODs, go into images go to characters and look at your xml all right so it has to be the whole name of your xml so for example the blue ninja idol you need to type that in all right the blue ninja idol all right now add an update okay now go into add hold up it's not working oh wait 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 because um this is not in capitals uh hold on let me do it again all right the blue ninja idol in all capitals now boom look the idol is working it's working properly and i think you guys know what to do from now but i'm still gonna show it so you just do the exact same thing for the um for the other sprites all right now just go to the um now we're gonna do the right pose go back into the xml right and um do the exact same thing but with right um obviously your character um png and um xml might be different um if you want i will um, send um you the link in the uh the comments to the xml that i'm using and the png so you can follow exactly everything in this tutorial but anyways but if you want you can use your own character so like it's gonna be something like this all right so now now the um the right pose is working all right now it's time for the up one. Okay. Now just do the exact same thing but with different names. The blue ninja up. Alright. Now let me let me test this out. Yes, now it's working perfectly. Good, 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 good. Now do the exact same thing but with the left pose. Let me change it to left. Alright. The blue ninja left. Hold on. No, no, no I did it wrong. Left. Alright. Now it is working. Look. Now it's working. Now it's working. Okay, now the last pose for this sprite. It's the down pose. So this is actually a little bit more easier than you might think it is because when I started like working 
on my mod. I thought it was like gonna be really difficult and stuff, but like now that I'm like teaching you guys on the way that I learned is actually more easier than I thought. Okay, now all the poses are working, but, but normally the poses are out of place. So I like the up sprite is like flying off the ground, which makes no sense. So like, so like just go to uh, just go to um. Wait, is it animation? No, to character. Wait, I think it's a character, right? No, 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 just, just use the arrow keys. Now, you can change his position to anywhere you want. Okay, now I want him to be here. But when you change the, the poses, it's not gonna follow it. So... Go back into animations and set the animation ghost to idle. For some reason, it's acting kind of weird with mine. It might not do the exact same thing for you, but um, but whatever. So like, go into um, the next pose. Now the now the animation ghost is here, so you can use the animation ghost as reference. All right. Now hold shift. To move it a lot quicker, ten times faster, to be exact. All right, now put it in the position on where the idol is. All right, now, now if you play it, yeah, it's doing the pose, but in the place where I want it. All right, so the next pose, which is the left. Now just do the exact same thing. But if your character is like an over and like over exaggerated like position, then like like this, I suggest you should put the first foot on the idol's first foot. That would make sense. And now when you play the animation, it's perfect. All right, now do up. And I think you guys know what to do. Um, I'll just speed it up a little so we can get through. All right, now uh, all the animations are working perfectly. All right, so um, I know that you're probably wondering um, why is the dad icon still here when I do not want the dad icon. All right, so um, you need to go back into your files. Um, um, I was just going to my mod version really quick. Okay, go back into mods. Uh, images. Icons. Alright, so get the icons you want. Alright, so now go back into your files. Go back into mods. And now go to images. Now go to icons. And put your, um your icons hit so so this is um uh this is what you're gonna do go back into the game go on to health icon name delete that and press the type in the um the uh icon name that you chose so my icon was called icon ninja you don't have to do the icon part, you just need to do the first part. So now, the icon is working, it's perfectly working. And if you want, you can change the health bar color. So I'm gonna change it to blue. Alright, now that looks good, that looks good. Now, save your character. And, um, go into, like, whatever name you want. So I'm just gonna do the blue ninja all right all right so now this should work but just to properly test it out let's go into free play go into any song you want all right uh i'm just gonna do uh for example i'm just gonna do fresh all right i'll turn it up a little 
you can hear the song. Okay, now press 7 on your keyboard. Go to permanent, and your character should be there. Alright, Blue Ninja, time to test it out. Okay. Now everything should be good. Yeah, yeah, everything is good. Yeah, now you have your own character into, um, you have your own character in the psych engine. Very cool, right? It, it's not that hard when you learn, you know? Now, it, just enjoy the gameplay of me, um, like, losing in Fresh. I haven't played this game in a while, so I might be a little bit <laughs> Alright, so that's how you make a, um, well, that's how you add your own character into Psych Engine. Uh, do not forget to like and subscribe um, if you want more tutorials like this. You probably don't because this game is kind of dead now. But um, if it does become popular again, then um, I might make more tutorials. But then again, I have to learn more tutorials to teach you myself. So, like, I guess I'll see you guys next time or something. Well, see y'all, man.